Pop quiz, gents. What makes for the perfect winter fragrance? I know in my mind, I'm looking for certain things. I want it to stick around. I want it to have longevity. Next up, I want it to have siage. I want it to be able to project in a room. I don't want it to be overpowered by simply the cold air. Next up, I want certain notes. I'm thinking tobacco, maybe a little bit of violet leaf, leather. Let's bring in a little bit of amber. Those notes right there are exactly what I'm looking for in the cold weather. Now to keep this list interesting and fresh, I decided not to put on a lot of the usual suspects, even though I think they're great fragrances pretty much year round. Now the EDT right here of Blue de Chanel, this is going to be more, I think, of a summer, spring, fall fragrance. If you want to go with something that's going to work better for the uh, winter, go with either the EDP or the Parfum this is going to be better for the winter. So, a lot of times when people think about the EDP versus the EDT or they think of perfume, they think this is going to be stronger and that is supposed to, in general, be true. But a lot of times, in this one in particular, it's not going to project more than the EDP, in my opinion. What it is though, is it's smoother and it just feels a bit richer. It's just creamier and that right there, for me, makes it perfect for the winter. And that's why if you're going to go with one for the winter, I would go with the Parfum or the EDP. Starting things off at number 10, I've actually got two fragrances for you. We have Gucci by Gucci Pour Homme and we have Dior Fahrenheit. Now, I'm going to start off with this Gucci fragrance. Not many people talk about it. I think it's a beautiful, just one of my favorite smelling winter fragrances. So, we have that top note of tobacco. Uh, actually, tobacco is more of a mild note, but it's the dominant note throughout the fragrance and I love tobacco fragrances. But that cypress really just does a great job balancing out. It's not an overly strong tobacco, the violet leaf, a bit, along with the leather and amber, which this is just a beautiful combination. Why it's not higher up on the list? Well, I talked about longevity. This thing does not stay around. I get about three to four hours before it seems to disappear and the projection is relatively weak. On the flip side, we've got Dior Fahrenheit. When it comes to longevity, no issues here. A few sprays, eight to ten hours. Also, when it comes to sillage projection, no problem here. A few sprays, you're going to choke out a room. The smell right here, violet leaf dominates along with that leather. This is just a very strong, very distinctive, equated to like gasoline getting on your hands when you're out mowing your lawn. And that's why I don't have it up higher because a lot of people feel this is a spring fragrance. For me, I can wear it in the winter, spring, even the fall. It's a great fragrance, but can be too polarizing for some. So, coming in at number nine, we've got CK1's Shock. This fragrance has been around for a while and I love it because it checks off all the boxes when it comes to a good winter fragrance. You've got tobacco, you've got amber, then you've got a little bit of patchouli mixed in with the cardamom. I mean, this right here, a little bit aromatic, but at the same time, that tobacco, it's a great tobacco. Just absolutely love this one. And my favorite thing about this, especially for you guys, it is cheap. It's inexpensive. Now, it's not going to be the longest lasting fragrance and it's not going to have the best projection. And not every guy wants a fragrance that's going to last 12 hours. So, if you okay with something lasting two to three, hours and you want it cheap, boom, here you go. Now, what if you want cheap and you want it to last all day? Okay, don't worry, I got you covered. So, these I'm not even going to put on the list, but Hene Moray right here, if you like cinnamon, if you like something spicy and you want something that pretty much no one else is wearing, you want to check out this one. Zeno, you want an established classic, I think 1986. This one is going to be, I believe, an aromatic. It's a really nice fragrance, but this is going to be a woody. It's got a little bit of sandalwood in it. And if you just want to smell like a pine forest, and you want something that's really inexpensive. Guys, ask Aspen. This is a classic, been around for a long time and it's just a fresh, clean winter fragrance because this one actually does a great job with longevity and projection. Coming in at number eight, gentlemen, we've got Guerlain's Homme Ideal EDP. You know how many times I had to say that to get it right? Point being is the French know how to make a great fragrance. So, almond, cherry, vanilla. It sounds like an interesting combination, but for guys, yeah. This one, if you're going to get close, you're going to get intimate, this is a great winter fragrance. It lasts a long time. It has a bit of projection. You may have to put some on. It's not the cheapest fragrance, but I'll tell you when it comes to something unique, something that's nice and cozy, this right here is a winner. And speaking of winners, let's talk about a fragrance that's on a lot of lists out there for great winter fragrances. I'm not going to put it on this list, but I am going to mention it, Versace Eros. Why? Because it is friggin' awesome. Yes, it's common and it's you know known as like the date fragrance that chokes people out, but here's the thing. The ladies love it. Now, if you want to change it up a bit, I love Eros Flame. This one, it's a little bit sweeter. I, I just love this and I do think it's unique enough, but you are seeing it sold out there. So, what I like about both of these though is that you can walk into pretty much any fragrance store and be able to find them. Next up on my list, we've got Burberry London for Men. And when it comes down to Christmas fragrances, this may be, in my opinion, the perfect 
Christmas holiday fragrance. When I'm thinking of, you know, that time of the year, December, this fragrance is just a go-to. Why? Okay, so when you look at the notes, tobacco, cinnamon, leather, seems like a lot of the usual suspects and a lot of the fragrances I'm talking about, but there's something about that combination. I don't know if it's the bergamot at the top, maybe mixed in with that little bit of lavender, but something about this fragrance just makes it different from the other ones out there. So if you're in the, you know, winter fragrances, you want to build up your collection, definitely this should be on your list. Now, what if you're a Creed fanboy? You only wear Aventus, but you're willing to try another Creed, but you're looking for a Creed winter fragrance. Well, right here, Millicene Imperial may be what you're looking for. Amazing fragrance, a lot smoother. I think just creamy, just a really nice winter fragrance. Or if you like oud, they're royal oud, which really should be royal wood because there's not really much oud in this. It is a woodier fragrance. It's really smooth. And if you like Creed Aventus, you're probably going to like this. And if you want to try something a little bit more challenging, you're into history, you like Winston Churchill, you'd want to wear the fragrance that he allegedly wore. You want to check out right here, Tabarone. Coming in at number six is not Azora Wanted. It's a good fragrance and you can find it easily out there. It is a good winter fragrance. Although I like Wanted by Night a little bit more, this one right here a little bit stronger and just, yeah, beautiful winter fragrance. And it's not going to be Paco Rabanne's One Million. Again, another good winter fragrance. Recommend it. It's not my top 10. What is in my top 10 though from Paco Rabanne is going to be One Million Privé. This one right here, just a little bit got the tobacco in it. It's still sweet, like one million, but not to that degree. There's just something about this. And when it comes down to compliment getters, this one, I think I've said the story many times in my videos. I've had women track me down in a store asking what I'm wearing when I wear this fragrance right here. So for that reason, I've got it high up on the list. It doesn't last as long as I would like, although it does a pretty good job. I'd say about six hours, but it projects apparently really well, even though I was nose blind to it. So again, really good if you want the compliments. And speaking of compliments, there are just some fragrances out there that despite the fact they're incredibly common, they are compliment magnets. You know what I'm talking about, Sauvage. So do you need to go though with the EDT? This is a great all year fragrance and I'm going to recommend that if you like Sauvage, get compliments on Sauvage, maybe try the EDP. A little bit stronger, a little bit smoother. And that's again what I want to hit on with even these common fragrances. You can go with some of the flankers. You can go with maybe a little bit stronger of a version and you're oftentimes going to get something that's really smooth. Because I know guys that own a lot of fragrances and they still say, hey, my lady loves Sauvage. Despite me, got, I have all these other ones. I try to introduce it to it. She asked me when I'm not, why are you not wearing Sauvage? So how about just changing it up slightly and you may find, you know, you're happy with it. You're getting some nice compliments and yeah, your lady loves it. Really quick, gents, want to grab your attention to let you know I'm launching a fragrance brand, Mission Fragrances, here in a few months, and I want you on the early bird list down in the description. So, there's tons of options out there. In fact, there's too many options. I bought about 300 fragrances in the last couple of years, and what I've noticed is that, yeah, there are just thousands and thousands of fragrances out there. The more I get into this, the more I realize fragrance is amazing. It's enhanced my life, but it is ultra confusing. I mean, all these notes, all these different reasons and, you know, ways to wear. But when you want to give something as a gift or even give it as a gift to yourself, I know I sometimes want something that embodies my higher ideals. I served in the Marine Corps. It was all about honor, courage, and commitment. And those are my fragrances and everything we're putting together is about inspiration because I believe when smell used in the right way can actually make a man be more in tune with going out there and getting the job done, having honor. It's a gift a man gives himself to have the courage to go out there and meet the challenge of the day, the commitment to show up to the gym and work out when you're trying to lose that 50 pounds so you can be around, you know, when your kids are older. Point being is I get that you want a fragrance that's going to inspire you. So many people have said, have reached out to me and told me, hey, Antonio, you should come out with your own line, but do it in a way that's creative and different. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So, if you want to learn more, join that email list down in the description. That's the best place to be because I'm going to be releasing these fragrances. I'm putting out quite a bit of money and I'm excited. These fragrances are not going to be, you know, incredibly unique. I'll be honest about that. They're going to be crowd pleasers. But if you're just getting into fragrances and you want to understand notes, you want to be able to go through a course while you get these fragrances that are beautifully presented, this may be the brand you're looking to join up. I'm excited kind of doing this thing from scratch. So, if you want to be part of the journey, gents, join that email list down in the description of today's video. 
Coming in at number five, we've got Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanilla. Now, this was actually number one, I think, on my list a year or two back. And I have to say, I love it still. I don't wear it as much as I used to. I've now found a lot of other fragrances out there, and I found that this one was a little bit harsh. My wife didn't love it as much. Uh, but, you know, the tobacco, I mean, it's pretty obvious what it is. Tobacco and vanilla. It's also got a little bit of dried fruit and a few other uh, notes in there. Point being is this is still a great winter fragrance. And if you're looking for something you like tobacco fragrances, definitely try this one from Tom Ford. Now, if you're in the Tom Ford, you're in the niche fragrances, niche fragrances, however you pronounce the word, you know what I'm talking about. You want to smell different. You want a fragrance that no one else has. And guys, Tom Ford is cool, but why not look to some of the top YouTubers and the fragrances they're putting out? I've actually got pretty much all of them and I've tested them. There's some awesome ones out there, especially for the winter. So right here, Gravitas by Mr. Smelly. If you like a little bit of a what is it? Lavender. This has got some patchouli. It's got vanilla, a little bit of mandarin orange. This is a great Fougere fragrance. I think I pronounced that correctly. Point being, if you want something unique, you want something manly, this is a great fragrance for you. Or Steven over at Red Lessons. Virtus, this is his tobacco. So, he used a lot of Latin terms. Point being is this is a strong, this is going to last all day. It's one of my favorite fragrances from his house and his collection. And rounding things off, I'm going to throw in Date from Fragrance One. This is going to be a sweeter fragrance. It's got a little bit of a fruit medley going with it. It's a a really nice, sweet, fruity fragrance. If you want something sweeter, something that's going to last, date is for you. Coming in at number four, we've got Emporio Armani's Stronger With You. And I have to admit, I was biased of this fragrance. I didn't like the name. And so, I'm like, I'm just not going to buy this. It doesn't sound like that interesting. Point being, though, is the fragrance is awesome. So, cardamom, vanilla, that you find in a lot of these fragrances here. But it's mixing of the chestnut and it's got a little bit of pineapple in it. So, that right there, it just is really a beautiful nice fragrance. It also has good projection. It's going to last all day. So, because of that and yeah, if you can get past the name, this right here is an amazing fragrance. And if you want a good winter Armani fragrance with an awesome name, check out Armani Code or Armani Code Profumo. Either of these would be a great addition to your winter collection. Coming in at number three, we've got Carolina Herrera's CH Men Privé. So, I don't drink at parties anymore. I kind of, you know, cut that part out of my life. This fragrance makes it just, it smells amazing. If you remember what some good booze smells like. And that's the note that I absolutely love in this. Mixed in with the leather, mixed in with the cardamom. This right here is just an amazing fragrance. And that's why I've got it so high on the list. Does it project? It's not a projection beast. It lasts a pretty good amount of time. Six, maybe seven hours on my skin. But this one right here, just the smell, it's like a holiday party and you can put this on and you can still go out and legally drive. If you get pulled over, officer may ask if you've been drinking, but you can, you know, pass the test hopefully. Point being is this is a winter holiday party in a bottle. Now, what about winter fragrances that nobody is wearing? So, this one right here, Trussardi, the red. My friend Chad over at The Gentleman's Journey sent this one to me. Thank you so much, Chad. This is just, it's a beautiful fragrance and the price, yeah, incredibly cheap. It's not the strongest projector and it lasts actually a pretty good, I had this last about six to eight hours on me. I want to wear it a few more times before I add it to too many lists. Also, if you're wanting to try an amber, you like amber, pretty much amber, <laughs> amber blend right here by Davidoff. It's not their cheapest fragrance, but if you love amber, yeah, that's the one to go to. And then we've got Alfred Dunhill, so Dunhill Custom. No one ever talks about this one. Very simple fragrance, but one blew me away. I've only worn it once. I'll wear it more. You'll probably see this pop up on more lists. But again, a fragrance that nobody talks about and is relatively inexpensive. Coming in at number two, we've got a Perfumes de Marly and it is not latent. This is a great fragrance. Wanted to add it to the list, but yeah, had to cut it down. Good one. One of my first Perfume de Marly. It's not Godolphin. Absolutely love this leather fragrance. It almost made the list, but I only wanted to keep one from the house and I'm bringing in Carlisle. This one right here, absolutely amazing. This fragrance, just something about it draws me in. An amazing winter fragrance. When I think of wearing a sweater, this is the fragrance that I want to wear. It's something about that patchouli mixed in with that vanilla. You got that tonka bean, a little bit of green apple and the rose. I can just barely detect the rose, maybe because I'm, I'm really smelling for it. Point being is this is just a strong masculine fragrance that plays with different notes and they do just a great job. So, I have to put it number two on my list. Coming in at number one is not Zaharoff Signature Port 
for ohm because I had this as number one on one of my other lists this year. Point being is I love this fragrance. I think it's perfect for the winter. This thing takes me back. I was raised Catholic. It takes me back to church, midnight mass. And, you know, by the way, it wasn't boring because I was an altar boy and there were a lot of cute girls out there. And yes, I'm not going to go into those stories. Point being, I've got good memories of going to church and this fragrance reminds me of them. And that's why I love it so much. I'm not going to even put it on this list, but I am going to say this is an awesome fragrance right here. Coming in at number one, gentlemen, come on, let's hear the drum roll. You ready? You ready for it? What is it going to be? And it's going to be Black Phantom by Killian. This fragrance right here, if you like a gourmand, you like coffee, you like chocolate, you like caramel, you like a little bit of rum, all that mixed together in a fragrance that lasts and that projects, boom, you've got it right here in Black Phantom. This is not cheap. This though is a masterpiece, an amazing fragrance. Yeah, it's number one on my list. So what video to watch next? How about how to make your fragrance last longer? In this video, I walk you through the tips and tricks on how to make your fragrance last all day. Want to know what they are? Check out this video right here.